icons of the seas. The icons of the seas. The, icons of the, seas. the Royal Caribbean International continues to set the pace for remarkable innovations of next generation cruise ships. And trust me when I say that its latest ship is nothing short of breathtaking. The Icons of the Seas is the world's largest cruise ship made, and the first ever sailing of this cruise ship will happen on January 27th, 2024, with seven night voyages from Miami to the Caribbean. And after bookings opened, the demand rate to sail with the first voyage is overwhelming despite the high travel fee, which starts from $1,537 to $1,958 per person, depending on the luxury features of the cabins. The icons of the seas have 20 passenger decks in total and weigh about 250,600 tons, almost 7% bigger than its predecessor. The Oasis class, its cabins are of 28 different types. The icons of the sea length will measure up to 1,198 feet, which is 10 times the length of Wonder of the Seas, the Oasis class cruise ship. The icons of the seas will carry up to 7,600 passengers, the record number for any passenger ship ever made. In addition to that, over 2,300 crew members will be on board too. The record-breaking passenger capacity for Icon of the Seas is due to Royal Caribbean International's undivided and unwavering focus on families. The cruise ship will have cabins with more bunks to accommodate families with kids. A family-friendly neighborhood. Surfside. Surfside is a never-seen-before family neighborhood concept on deck 7 of the cruise ship. It's specifically created to cater for families with young kids. It is a hot spot with something to offer for everybody. The amazing features of this neighborhood include an adult-only water edge infinity pool that opens from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., a classic arousal, and two kids' water parks. The Baby Bay for toddlers and Splash Away Bay for older kids. Dining spots like Sugar Beach Eatery, High Energy Arcade, and a bar that serves Mommy and Me matching cocktails for adults and mocktails for kids. The Hideaway, this new featured neighborhood, is the sea version of a beautiful beach club. The neighborhood will have features like whirlpools, bars with a resident DJ, Suspended infinity pool on deck 15 would open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. The hideaway pool offers infinity views several feet above deck 15. The sweet neighborhood. This neighborhood comprises three decks with royal class benefits for its guests. It is the icons of the sea's largest guest area and its prominent features include the coastal kitchen restaurant, the grove, and the sweet sun deck. The Aqua Dome. The imposing Aqua Dome is on deck 18 of the cruise ship. It has a magnificent waterfall standing 55 feet tall. The Aqua Dome offers stunning views of the ocean during daytime and at night it becomes a buzzing location of people, bars and restaurants. The Aqua Theatre located three decks below the aqua dome is a multi-purpose space with huge floor to ceiling windows it has four robotic arms a transforming pool and ultra modern projections shows to be hosted in this multi-purpose space include acrobatics high dives aerialists and some of the finest water performances you would ever see chill island and its pools the icons of the seas will feature seven pools. Chill Island will have three deck areas for its swimming pools, which are the Cove Pool, the Quiet Infinity Edge Pool on deck 15, directly overlooking the sea, Cloud 17, an adult only location on deck 17, overlooking the ocean. The Cloud 17 has the lime and coconut bar housed in four different spots and a whirlpool. Royal Bay is a landmark pool on deck 15 of Chill Island. It is the largest pool ever at sea 
containing over 40,000 gallons of water. Swim and Tonic. This is the Royal Caribbean's first cruise ship swimmer bar. Swim and Tonic is also the largest swimmer bar at sea and is situated at port side on deck 16 of Chill Island. Thrill Island and its six water slides. The icons of the seas will have the biggest water park at sea, the Thrill Island. The water park has six slides with remarkable features. Number one, the frightening boat, the tallest drop slide at sea. The second one, Crown's Edge, one of a kind swinging rope course, high plank skywalk, obstacle course and zip line that is best suited for the bravest of hearts. Pressure drop, the first open free fall slide at sea. Hurricane Hunter, the first family raft slide at sea that is room for four sliders at once. Storm Surge, the first suspended family raft slide at sea. And Storm Chases, the longest mat racing slide at sea. The Pearl, the Pearl is the centerpiece of the icons of the sea's royal promenade. While walking onto the ship, this large sphere-shaped structure is what you will first notice. The pearl connects decks via its staircase. The beautiful structure contains over 570 aluminum panels that produce stunning effects and lighting features in its interior. It stands 46 feet and its width measures up to 50 feet. To show you just how impressive the pearl is, it has taken 45,000 working hours to construct. The important facts note, the Icons of the Seas is Royal Caribbean's first cruise ship powered by liquefied natural gas and a fuel tank measuring up to 307 tons and 90 feet in length. The cruise ship will have 28 different cabins and 8 neighborhoods, 5 new and 3 returning from the last Oasis class produced. After its inaugural sailing from Miami to the Caribbean, the icons of the seas will alternate between Eastern Caribbean and Western Caribbean itineraries between January 2024 and April 2025. In conclusion, all in all, the icons of the seas will have eight neighborhoods, 28 different cabins, seven pools, nine whirlpools, six fun-filled water slides, it will carry 7,600 guests and 2,350 crew. It brings the total number of people on the cruise ship to 9,950. A truly remarkable fit. If you enjoyed watching this video and have thoughts you'd love to share, drop a comment below. And for more videos, hit the subscribe button today.